Well, it's a glorious, beautiful, sunny day here in Anchorage, Alaska. We don't get very many of them. And what am I doing? I'm going to tear my bike all to pieces. Everybody else went riding. Putting in the new Custom Dynamics headlights, the Wild Boar Audio. Adding on a few other goodies. Put on a few uh, bits of chrome here and there. Wiring things up, new intake. Lots and lots of parts and pieces coming. Just wanted to give a shout out to uh, Professional Monkey and Donnie Weberg. These guys have uh, posted a few videos out there. They made some tracks of their own and uh, laid it out for us to make it much easier. I feel like a pro just popping through this stuff because I watched the video so many times. So much thanks to all. As we get on progressing here, we'll keep checking back in. Okay, tubers. We got the old speakers out, we got the headlight out, everything pulled apart here. Real easy when you're following along, or all your heroes. So lots of space up underneath there for the amp. You don't have to unplug any of these wires, other than the turn signals to take that off. The other speakers unplug from the end here, right in the cavity as you pull them out. And man, they weren't kidding when they said there's a huge difference. So they've all showed you this, but a little bitty magnet on there, a four and a half inch speaker, six and a half inch speaker with crossovers and a magnet that would stick me to my Cadillac. That thing is pounds. That's, that is substantial, man. That should have some serious put out. Good pro tip, keep all your stuff organized. As you lay it on the table, I like to put all the screws with wherever it goes. You see, I take my old takeoffs and lay it out in the order you took them off. Another great pro tip is take a piece of cardboard, draw a picture of what you're working on, and stick the bolts through little holes all in the areas they are. Really important when you've got an engine or something like that, we have a lot of different lengths of screws that are very similar, and you've got to have them all in the right spot. So it helps you keep track of everything, keep your frustrations down, set yourself up a nice workspace, and get all your stuff together. This Wild Boar Audio Kit was well worth the money. This stuff is well put together. Pull out the uh, Rogue Glide kit to mount this amp. Serious hardware. Every little thing you might need. No wires to cut. Just pop it off the Street Glide, uh, street glide clamp there, put it on the other side of this clamp, and it goes up underneath the radio. We'll check back when we get to that. Something the other guys didn't really touch on, the speaker grills. I'm a chrome junkie, so we're going to swap these out. On the back side here, you'll see these old tabs. If you pop these all loose around here, you want to make sure that those are bent over when you put them together. So now that comes off and you can see all the little tabs. You're going to set this one back into place and then fold over all those little tabs. But <laughs> it's a whole lot easier doing this with two hands. Once you set that back together, you're going to fold over little tabs, just part of the screen right here. So you can see these little tabs. There's six of them on there, so do that together, put it all ready to go first. So when you go to plug that in, this little tweeter speaker plugs in to this little end. Then uh, slide it back in there, wiggle it into place, put all the screws in. We're going to give that a shot and we'll be right back. All right, putting these speakers together. You get down to plugging them in, you'll see that one is a little bit smaller than the other, so you can't really screw these up. The pink one with the white one goes here on the left, black one goes on the right. When you put these all the way down, they'll actually snap in and the little clip will hold them in place. So you're gonna mice it straight in there. Then you're just gonna tip the speaker into position. You're gonna have to wheedle it around a little bit. Get the side started. And once you got them all settled in, you go back for your grills. So we got the grills together here. And when you're pushing those little tabs over on the back to tighten those up, don't crank those all the way down. You don't want to snap the plastic. Six of those all around there snapped into place. Now we're good to go with that. You do want to take the rubbers off of the old ones here. So you're going to want this outer piece to click into place. 
Okay, once you got the rubber slipped back around here, there's little notches all around here. It slips right in just like the original. You got these little plastic clips that you needed to take off the old ones. Snap those into place, and you're ready to put that on. Ta-da! Mm-mm-mm. Okay, one of the trickiest parts is getting these things to slide in here, right? Part of what you want to do is get everything hooked onto the back, and then you're going to want to rotate it around so that your crossovers and that and the wire is over pointed inboard. And then you got to get it started under these tabs at that first, so you'll never get by them. So once you get it tipped into place there, there'll just be one little pin up at the top. I want to just kind of glance this by carefully to get it to snap into place. Okay, all lined up. Start all of your screws in the holes first. That way you get them all in there and don't have to keep taking them out to mess them around. I've got the wire sticking back up through in the top corner here as I've clocked the bottom of the speaker over towards 90 degrees right at the inside. So everything seems to fit in there the best. And then once you got it all in there, Careful going back with these screws as you just want them snug. You don't want to rip out the plastic. Just a couple of fingers, a few inch pounds should do it. And then they are. Now they're in there now to get the uh, grills back on here. So nice of them, market clutch side. Oh, I think I'll come over here. Got the little tabs in place. You're going to plug that little wire up in the top and then start that edge and snap them right back into place. Okay, with the little wire hooked up, you can tuck that back in behind here and kick it right down in this upper corner. Just to make it real easy to pull this, snug it around out of the way so it's not rattling against your grill. And then get your tabs in place. And just snap it right back in. Uh, it's nice and clean. You don't have the wire hanging down in here where you can see anything. Beautiful. Nice stuff. Okay, get yourself organized for the next step. Laid out all the parts and pieces with the amp. Pull the amp off the street glide tab. Get ready to use the road glide. Now on this you have a couple of different settings. Here's Mr. Monkey gave us a rundown in his videos. You have A, B, and C. You want to turn that to A if you're going to have it flash to get the full potential out of this. If it may be forever before you can get it flash, put it on B, but no, you got to take this back out to change the setting. So figure out how much work you want to do. I'm going to go ahead and bump this to A because my local Harley shop should be able to flash that. They've got wild boar uh, programming and all that already. Should be no big deal. So. I'm going to crawl over here in my nice cushy Viper chair. Thank you again, Mr. Monkey. My back loves this thing. can spend hours out here in the garage now tinkering. And we're going to crawl all up in the birth canal back there and put all this stuff together. Be right back. Okay, folks, following along real carefully uh, with the diagrams here. They give you pretty good instructions and a breakdown of which wires plugs into which. All the harnesses are... Only acceptable one or two ways. Just watch uh, A, B, C, and D plugging in the speaker wires, inputs, and outputs. Uh, they are color coded, so to speak. So you can see uh, inputs yellow and green plug into right where the old speaker is plugged into, and outputs brown and blue plug into the harness coming out of the radio. Did I say that right? A and C, B and D. B and D go to the speakers. And C go to the radio. Follow all that down. Hook up everything first. Hook up everything to the amp. Then you got the two bolts out. You're going to take that amp and you're going to wheedle it in first this way up in there. Push it up a little higher. And then you can try to struggle these main harness wires around the legs. And once you've got these all up into place, the spaghetti mess here. You can see two upper bolts go back in. Right 
there and there are the four uppers that hold your whole fairing on. Once you've got these pulled around and tucked out of the way, then you can get back to these to tighten them up. And you've got pretty much everything hooked up. The main power wire goes through with the other harnesses. Out the bottom, you're going to take the tank apart, either slide them under the tank or down the backbone underneath the cover, and run that to your battery. So that was fun. Remember, the, the toughest part of all of this is hook up everything first. So you've got all your wires, everything separate, and then you're going to take that amplifier and work it up in there. Then try to pull the wires around the bottoms, slide it into place, put your bolts in. Get both bolts started first, then torque them down. Whew. Boy, Mr. Monkey said this was fiddly. Well, it's uh, going to take some definite uh, Tetris work and, you know, some intelligence. Follow the instructions, take your time. Follow your color codes. You don't have to do any soldering, any cutting. You don't have to do any major rearranging. I definitely want to put the amplifier on the back first because I plan to put another amp up front here a little later when I get my lowers put in. But that's the uh, hardest part. So you got the speakers in, the grills are ready, you've got everything run. Now we're going to hook up the battery down here and see if it all works. Okay. You can see it back up in there, tucked way away. Oh damn it, wouldn't you know it. It's been raining since like last July, damn near a year straight. It's finally got a decent day and of course the neighbors are out here. Weed whacking and lawn mowing and whatnot and all the things I probably should be doing but it's just kind of funny. It never happens till you turn on the camera. Moving on to part three, your custom dynamics, your Pro Beam X lights, we call those the double X LED in chrome, baby, and lots more chrome. You can got the little side markers here as well, a little more chrome. So get them all out here and lined up together. I'll show you what that's going to look like. Okay, oh, we got a lot of chrome on our nose. Not too tough, put all the bolts back in the same place. Go ahead and start your side pieces on here. Put the screws in first, get everything loose, line it up, get everything started. Then work your way around, do a little like, pattern, okay. set it all into place. There's one plug on the back of the headlight, super easy. Just put the screws back where they go and press these little things back into the deal to hold your FM antenna back to the tabs. Pretty simple. Once you get all done with that, your side marker lights here. We've disconnected these before, so you have the end waiting to put the fairing back on. I'm going to come over on this side. Same way, you've got the input and then the extra pigtail that goes off to your other marker lights. So now, everything is hooked up, wired, and put away, except for putting the face back on. So, let me get down to that, and then we'll start doing some tests. Okay, before we get carried away putting it back together, I'm going to take this ugly bar off of here. The support bar up front is going to be replaced with the Bung Kings. You see you got a couple of 716s, you pull one out each side, up in the top right there. Yeah, and you got to pull loose these two bolts here, one supporting the bar itself and one supporting, bolting on oh, the stabilizer bar. Okay, as folks can see, the ugly bar is gone. And I kept the original, what do you call that, the little clamp that goes across there, because I don't have my front uh, crash guard engine bars in yet. I've got lowers coming from FM Black, a chin guard, cover all of that stuff. But until then, we just had to put a nut in the back of that bolt holding through the steering stabilizer and take care of that. Haven't gotten rid of that, I went ahead and installed if you can see them up underneath there, the uh, Bung King supports. That hooked out really good. Pull my covers back here, maybe you can see a little better. You see the bracket has to face upwards to sit right. Otherwise it kind of wants to tweak the whole fairing. But that's going to come down and be bolted right to the gas tank bolt. Got plenty of extra threads there. And you've got it faced forward so everything will clear. 
got the front back on everything tightened up buttoned up the new custom dynamics lights get rid of my ugly towel there keep that fender protected got the chrome uh, inserts on both sides new lights got the halo turn signals all LED should be much brighter now put the new clockworks windshield on got the new speakers in all the chrome gilding 400 watts got a nice little Ciro Cairo how do you say that chrome uh, piece across the front piece there more chrome more chrome I am a chrome fanatic I admit it hi my name is Trav I got a whole lot of chrome I love the way that chrome reflects everything around it it's real dynamic it's like it brings things to life Mention, I just wanted a classy looking bike. It's my style. Now I'm gonna put the fuse back in, put the seat back on, do a little bit of cleanup, and make sure everything works. Oh, well, there we go. 400 watts. Thanks to their buying the flashy, flashy. largest locally owned liquor store, you will now save even more on your favorite beer, wine, and spirits with warehouse price. So, Clockworks on today, Custom Dynamics on today, Wild Boar Audio on today, DK Customs Fairing Support on there today. Got any other chrome on stuff yesterday, cleaned off my heels, got my new sissy bar, back pad all set. Got a little tuning, it's getting a little late in the day and damn it, I think I need to go riding. My wife took off with her sister and went riding all over hell. I've been sitting here sweating. I think it's my turn. Tomorrow, stage one intake. I've got the screaming ventilator. Sorry if I'm making you dizzy here. Screaming ventilator. Go on the first part there. I've got the tab bam stick, so i got to get the gumption to crawl up underneath. Other than that, pretty damn happy with today's project. So, any questions and comments that you have, let me know. Hit the bell, hit subscribe, all that sort of business. Of course, uh, most importantly, get out there and do something you've never done before. Go places you've never been. Go meet some new people you never met. Get out there and make some tracks. Let them know you've been there. Thank you much, YouTubers. Hope you enjoyed it.